everyone, and welcome once again to another edition of the Red Brennan Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins, along with Jennifer Brown Day. And Jennifer, as, as the weather warms up and we move into summer, I think all the schools now are pretty much out for summer. They are, which means houses are feeling really small all of a sudden. <laughs> I'll bet you're right. I bet this is a big time of year for listings, new listings. It is. It is. It's a big time for listings mainly because everybody's had the spring to go out. They've mm -hmm. cleaned out their closets and they've gotten their yard spruced up. So now is when everyone feels really comfortable with the pictures being taken and that kind of stuff for new listings. So we have a lot of great new listings and then it's a great time to buy because of course you're a little bit freer with your schedule in the summer. Plus, like we mentioned, those houses are feeling pretty small now that all the kids are home. Yeah, well, you, you mentioned something that made me think. It's probably a good time now to check your website again if you mm -hmm. haven't because you talked about when they would get their pools open, when the trees bloom. A lot of people that may have listed for the first time in the winter now want new pictures taken because the houses are more attractive. So if you've looked through the website before and you thought, uh, try it again, that same listing is going to look totally different right now. Exactly. There are a lot of pictures that are being updated with the mm -hmm. new weather and everything's bloomed and green, so it's a great time to go look. All right. Well, we're going to let you look at five listings today that we've got that we're going to feature today. And the first one is in Floyd County. It is. This one is in the Daniels Creek area. And if you're familiar, that's kind of coming from Pikeville going towards Allen will come up mm -hmm. on your right is where Daniels Creek is. Which is very convenient to US 23. Because mm -hmm. um, you get that country feel. If you're familiar with Daniels Creek, you're kind of out in the country, but within just a minute, or two, you're right on US 23. That's correct. That's correct. It's a great location between Prestonsburg and Pikeville. Um, like you said, this is a neighborhood down in Daniels Creek, but you kind of are away from everything. You can't see 23. You can't hear 23, but you're very close to 23. So it's a great location. Right. And the, and the good thing about this one is it's a price reduction. Mm -hmm. So we've featured it in the past, but it's always worth mentioning when the homeowners say, hey, Let's just drop that price a little bit. Exactly. This one's had a recent price reduction. It was actually taken down to 230 And when we tell you everything about this house, you'll know this is a good buy. Right. Well, right off the bat, you're looking at size. You're over 2,000, over 2,100 square feet mm -hmm. with four bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms. So we were talking about families and needing room to grow. If you need to grow, this would be a house to grow into. Absolutely. And this is one, it's got one of the bedrooms. I know this is important to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. The master is actually on the first floor with a private bathroom. So you do have that first floor bedroom and then your other three are upstairs. All the bedrooms have walk-in closets, which is also a very popular feature. But then you're talking about the privacy of that, you know, that master on the downstairs and everything having a walk-in closet upstairs. Mm -hmm. Well, look at your backyard. You've got privacy inside and outside of this house. You've got a fenced-in backyard. Yes, and if you look at the pictures, and um, we included a back picture simply because you can tell mm -hmm. how big the yard is from that picture. You've got a private deck. Again, it's all fenced. Um, we're standing inside the fence, so you can't see the fence, but we're right. kind of standing right inside right there. And um, plenty of room if you wanted to do a pool, if you wanted to add a swing set, if you wanted to have pets. You have plenty of room for whatever you'd want to do in this backyard. And the price on this one is, like we mentioned, $230,000. It's just been reduced, and this one is in Banner. So all the things we talked about, the convenience to US 23, and all the conveniences with this particular home is one you'll definitely want to get scheduled and look at. So give you a call. Absolutely. They can give us a call in the Pikeville office. That number is 606-437-2333. And when you do call them, mention 106-699. That is the MLS number for this particular listing, and they'll get your showing scheduled. We will. Okay, now moving into the city limits of Pikeville for mm -hmm. this next li listing. This one is not far from our television studios on Peach Orchard. Not at all. We're sitting very, very close to this listing right now. Um, but this one is a fairly new listing. Um, like you said, it's up here on the hill off of Peach Orchard. And this is another one I'm excited to share because of the price. So hopefully we'll, we'll save it for the end, yes. to, so everybody has to has to watch the entire presentation before <laughs> they get it. It does have a really nice deck, and um, that deck goes around the side and to the front, so you can easily, very accessible to the kitchen. If you want to put a mm -hmm. grill out there and grill out a lot or anything like that, you have access to that deck, and it's 
almost like another room, which we've talked about before with other houses. Right, except it doesn't count on the square footage, right. but you've got that feel. It just makes your living space that much bigger. Exactly. But as is, on the inside, you still have two bedrooms and a bathroom with an office space. Mm -hmm. Um, 12, almost 1,200 square feet. So a nice house, and with all the students and professionals that, that move into Pikeville, this would be great for, for a student, or if you're looking at maybe wanting to rent to some students or, mm -hmm. or people at the hospital in the banking industry, because it turns over a lot. It's a big, great investment property. Absolutely. This would be a wonderful investment property for someone who's in that line or if you're wanting to get started. Like you mentioned, it's a two-bedroom, one-bath. The office space, it could actually be a third bedroom, depending on how you wanted to do it. It doesn't mm -hmm. have a closet, so of course, we don't have it counted that way. Right. But you could market it that way for rental or something like that if you wanted to and easily have three roommates in there, you know, paying, paying a lease. Right. And then we talked about, you know, teasing that price a minute mm -hmm. ago. We're under $70,000 for this listing in the city limits of Pikeville um, that's possibly a three-bedroom. So if your wheels are turning, whether it's you and some friends are like, hey, we need to do this, or you're thinking, well, we could rent this and make some money, uh, definitely give you guys a call for this listing. Absolutely. You can give us a call again in the Pikeville office. That number is 606-437-2333. And any of these listings that we're talking about, always go to your website mm -hmm. uh, to get information on these and other things like that maybe in that neighborhood. Oh, absolutely. Our website is, of course, accessible all the time. It's www.rbnw.com, which I think it's on the screen so right. everybody can see how it's written out. Okay. Now, moving on, let's stay in the city limits of Pikeville, but a lot of people wouldn't know that this <laughs> home was in the city limits. Exactly. This is one, we were talking about the privacy off the deck with the last one, but this is one that you actually have the privacy off the deck. You're not in the city, but you're still in those city limits. Right. And what we're, where we're talking about is Fife Fork. So mm -hmm. if you're going up Cloy Road from the city side, it's going to be on your left. Correct. But, and the good thing about, you know, still being inside the city limits is, you know, a lot of people don't realize you, how great this is until you need it, but it's police and fire protection. Exactly. You get the city amenities with having mm -hmm. the privacy of being in the county, so it's kind of the best of both worlds. Um, but you can see from the pictures, this is a really nice size house. It sits on a nice size lot. It's about three quarters of an acre. Um, again, a fairly private location. The house is almost 2,600 square feet. That includes three bedrooms and two and a half baths, which mm -hmm. is a really nice size house. And again, like one of the other ones, this one has another first floor master. So you've got the first floor master, private bath, walk-in closet, and then your other bedrooms are upstairs. And then if you look at this one and, and the pictures on the inside, I mean, you've got the fireplace, you've got the hardwood flooring. I mean, so it just has that feel of a country home, that cottage feel out. And then looking at it, you can see around it, you know, that it is in a secluded area. Right, correct. And this one, like you said, with all the um, touches on the inside, there's a lot of wood touches, mm -hmm. and they've done a lot of wood trim. The stairway is completely wood, and it's open to that living room, which is a cathedral ceiling, the two-story tall stone right. fireplace. I mean, it really gives the feeling of kind of a log cabin without going kind of over the top with it. And definitely without the price. Mm -hmm. um, which we'll get to in just a second. But one thing I do want to mention, because we teased in the middle, in the beginning of the show, school's out. Well, you've got your pool. This is the first one we've had <laughs> on the show today with a swimming pool. Absolutely, and we have a really good picture of that in there as well. It's an above-ground swimming pool. It does have a deck built around it. All right, this one, uh, you can look it up on the website or, or call. I'm sure the Pikeville office can field that one. Oh, absolutely. We'd be more than happy to. That number again, 437-2333. Or go to rbandw.com and you'll be able to find this one. Look it up, 106087. And the price on this one for everything we just told you in the city limits, 189.9. So if you're in that market, definitely give them a call, go on the website, and they'll be able to hook you up. Absolutely. All right, now moving on, the next one is actually outside the city limits mm -hmm. on Biggs Branch. So if you're going toward Elkhorn City on Route 460, this will be on your left. That's correct. And then it's about a mile and a half up Biggs Branch. Mm -hmm. The house will sit on the right as you go up. Um, you can tell in the picture it also kind of sits by itself, almost up on a little knoll. You have a little bit of privacy right there. It sits on about two acres. Mm -hmm. You get the ranch house, which does have, it's a three-bedroom, two-bath with a garage. 
Wow. The bonus with this one is you also have, and we've got a picture of it also included, an unfinished structure that's also on this property. Now, the condition of it or anything, we're, we're right. not going to, we we don't know. Right. So that's up to someone to figure out. But you either have the start of another house if you wanted to do that, or you've got the space for a really nice yard if you wanted just to take that out. And this one is three bedrooms and two baths, mm -hmm. and it's a ranch home, which is attractive to a lot of people to have everything on one level with no stairs. Exactly. And this one, again, has the private master, has mm -hmm. a private bathroom with it, and then it needs some updates, and the, the seller's very much aware, but there's it's kind of one of those situations they don't want to have to do it. Right. But this is one you could go in, throw in some new carpet, throw in a new countertop, and you could easily have your dream house if you wanted it. You so can you're saying personalize. channel your inner HGTV. There you go. <laughs> On the shows, they also make mm -hmm. a very big deal about front porch or outdoor space. This one has a gorgeous front porch that overlooks uh, Biggs Branch. Mm -hmm. You kind of, like I said, you sit up above it, so it's a really nice view of the creek. This would be a great one if you like the outdoor space. This is a great location if you like that area between Pikeville, mm -hmm. Elkhorn City, anything that direction. This is a great, great place. All right, and the price on this one, one twenty three nine, mm -hmm. and this one's located on Biggs Branch. All right, now moving to the last listing that we've got today. This one I love because it's acreage. It's not just a little <laughs> acreage. It's 225 acres. Exactly. We saved this one for the last, just for you. Yes. <laughs> this is one that uh, it sits out towards Sydney. Mm -hmm. So we're going the other direction on 119. Um, you take the Sydney exit, and then it's about four miles up North Big Creek. Okay. And, and if you're familiar with the new 119, mm -hmm. I mean, it is a great four-lane highway. Uh, that has just sped up being able to get to Williamson, West Virginia, or even look beyond that, Charleston and Huntington are even closer than ever. Um, but then you're still convenient to Pikeville. So exactly. this is a great location. It is. And like I said, it's only four miles off that exit, or probably four and a half once you're actually coming off the exit. But it has the acreage, 225 acres, which I think you mentioned. Mm -hmm. It also comes with two houses. Wow. So there's a lot that you're getting with this property. I mean, you're getting, let's look at house number one. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's a brick ranch home um, with three bedrooms and two bathrooms. I mean, that's the main home on this property. Yes, and it has a bonus with it, unfinished full basement. That is a actual garage. You can pull into it. You can literally drive to the other side of the house in the garage. It's a big open really? space. And it has a lot of the charm from the 60s. It's been, it's been well maintained mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff, but it really does have a lot of charm and a lot of the stylings of the 1960s. Right. And then house number two yeah. on this <laughs> listing um, is a 2000 double wide. It's a good size double wide. It's a 28 mm -hmm. by 52. Yes, and another three bedroom, two bath. You can tell in the pictures, I included a picture that shows both of them. Mm -hmm. uh, the house sits to the left, the double wide sits to the right. You can see all of the um, land in front of it that is all flat, very usable. There's additional flats off to the side of the uh, double wide, and then it goes the hillside up above both of them includes the barn that you can see in the pictures, mm -hmm. includes about three acres of fenced pasture land. Includes many flats you could garden on. There's just so many possibilities. This one's going to be attractive to a whole lot of different people for a whole lot of different reasons. Exactly. Um, a lot of times that we get to that point, we have extended families that we mm -hmm. want to live close to us. So, and this is one you get them both for, and I will say, under one under two hundred thousand dollars. Correct. This one was again just reduced, reduced to one ninety five, which right. is a great price for everything that we just went over. Yeah, I mean, you've got a house, you've got a barn, you've got pasture land, you've got mm -hmm. a second home, and you've got two hundred and twenty five acres uh, at your disposal. And the the area here is kind of like a rolling hill. It's not the big steep mountains. All of this is accessible. Mm -hmm. All Absolutely. Right. Um, let's give the uh, website again. Okay. That way they can look this one up and find it. Okay. The website is www.rbandw.com. And this one is 105744, and I guarantee this one's going to get some calls. Too many opportunities there not to. Well, we hope so. We're ready. All Start right. calling now. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to step out and let you do your real estate minute. Today's Real Estate Minute is focused on the appraisal process during a purchase. 
An appraisal is a type of property value evaluation that can be completed only by a licensed or certified appraiser. A realtor cannot complete an appraisal in their capacity as a realtor, which is a common misconception. Typically, the appraisal is ordered by the lending institution of a buyer, which is also who would receive the results from their appraisal report. Any questions you have about the buying and selling process, including the appraisal process, should be directed to your realtor or lender. And as always, Ray Brown and Williams Real Estate Services would be proud to assist you with your real estate needs. Thank you for joining us for another show. We hope to see you again soon.